its release date. Yep. This is probably one of the most exciting days that uh, we have uh, at the winery and distillery up uh, up here in Gummaraka. And and no more, I guess, poignant than today because we've got two, two bottles dropping uh, today. We've got, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what, let's go inside. Let's taste them together. Because this year, like, our entire team is absolutely excited for this. The two wines, actually, that I'd like to introduce to you guys today is I'm gonna say probably the most hotly contested wines that we've had released in recent times, perhaps with the exception of Esoterico. We're really psyched about it because it's taken a whole year. You know, remember when you make wine, you only make wine once a year. And so it's taken a whole year for these wines to come back into stock again. So for us, basically the entire team is waiting with bated breath for us to release these, which they're dropping today for you. So first off, first cab off the rank, we've got the Epinimus. Fresh AF. It used to be 100% Neradavali. It used to be called the river, uh, hailing to, I guess, the place that it comes from, so the Riverland. Um, but Nero in particular, as we've found out over the last, I guess, six years of crafting Nero from there, um, is that it's really particularly adapted, not just to the heat, but also to the sandy soils up there. Um, and then last year, maybe it was two years ago, I guess, wasn't it? We had our good friends from No Mafia uh, over in Perth come by, help us out for vintage and uh, they were being a little bit cheeky in the winery, weren't they? Let us sort of chuck a couple of uh, buckets of Zabibo in with the ferment, it blew us away. So last year, we changed its name, it's Fresh AF, which pretty much is exactly how you would expect it to be. Really bright, really fresh, high acid, no tannin. We don't want any tannin in this thing because any amount of tannin in light of this amount of acidity is just gonna appear a little bit bitter. If you've been watching some of the live streams and you're watching a lot of what we do, we taste a lot of um, a classical wine on the show, we taste some of the great wines of the world, and to be honest, I've never had a, uh, a great wine that hasn't been crafted in a manner in which you would wanna consume, uh, you know, you wouldn't wanna consume, I guess, right next to where those vines grow. Barolo tastes awesome, but it tastes particularly awesome in Barolo. Bordeaux tastes particularly awesome in Bordeaux. And you know what, if you're gonna go to a place that is like red sand as far as the eye can see, and it is north of 40 degrees Celsius during the growing season, big, rich, heavy anything isn't what you'd wanna be drinking there. This is what you'd wanna be drinking there, fresh AF Nero. Um, this year, we decided to turn the notch up on uh, the bitters of Bebo thrown in. So last year, I think it was around about 15%, just a small amount. This year, we kind of cranked it right up to 30% because Zabibo and everything, highly lifted aromatics, and it just matches the acidity really well. Super, super balanced this year. The second bottle that we're actually dropping today is, is probably one of the more wacky ones. Uh, we started this last year as a real, a real oddball product. Um, we didn't anticipate that it would be as popular as it was. Uh, and a lot of people went absolutely nuts for it. Probably pretty sure it has something to do with deliciousness factor. So there's a few things that we don't make at, at Unico. I know we do gin, we do wine. We get asked tons and tons of times, what are we gonna do next? Now, what we drink a lot of and we don't make is beer, mainly because most of our mates make beer. We like drinking our mate stuff. It's fun. We don't make pet nat yet and we didn't make vermouth. We got a lot of mates that make some really amazing vermouth, um, but there was an opportunity that came up last year where we had um, some, some wine that was left over, which is typically how vermouth starts, wine that's left over, and we were fascinated about trying to, trying to get like a mashup of citrus, which is a very, very distinct flavor profile to something like grapes. And we had a whole bunch of, uh, of, of yuzu, this, this weird, wacky Japanese citrus, and we decided to sort of infuse them together, a little bit of um, ochre infuso out of our sister company, Ochre Island Bitter. What came about it was this, Unico yuzu. Uh, a cheeky little, I'm not sure, it's a weird thing. It's, is it a vermouth or is it not a vermouth? We see it as a vermouth, it's a weird one. It's a citrus-driven vermouth. Obviously, Japanese, Japanese yuzu was probably one of the sharper citruses. And especially when we're looking at things like ochre infuso, which is so absolutely crammed full of things like strawberry gum and rye berries. It's, it's probably one of the more aromatic styles. And of course, all right, sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth is one of, uh, is one of the, the easier to drink styles. Good vermouth, I guess, is one of the easier to drink styles. So we just thought, you know what, we gotta quench our thirst a little bit. Last year we did it with Nebbiolo. We've changed up a little bit. It was such a success. Uh, it sold out so quickly, we thought we may as well take it seriously this time. And so what we decided to do was actually rely on uh, a Merlot. Of all things, of all things Merlot, we've actually, we've actually improved Merlot. Um, a lot more luscious, a lot more uh, rich and dense which means that we can actually get away from using so much sugar to be able to produce a, an evidently sweet vermouth, but with less sugar. Look, I, I like to consume this, like very simply, just over ice with like a slice of lemon, um, or even like 
slice of grapefruit go towards those more tart-based citruses. But I am, if you ask pretty much anyone around here, I'm probably the world's shittest bartender. Uh, and where this starts to really shine, where it really comes into its own is actually when it's in a bartender's hands. Uh, and I'm very lucky that uh, I got a Noah. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Wines have been dropped, they're actually on the website. We'll link them up in the description uh, and they'll be out in indie retailers across, I guess, the next couple of weeks. Cheers. <laughs>